Hello, my name is Ren Bennett, and today I will be doing my lecture on acid rock, also known as psychedelic rock. So acid rock is basically a subgenre of rock and roll music, and it started in the mid-60s to the early 70s, and this type of rock was named after a psychedelic drug, LSD. That's why it's known as psychedelic rock as well. And a lot of songs in this type of music have many references to drugs, uh, that being LSD, as I said, and also marijuana. And along with that, this type of music also started the hippie movement and the rock and roll revolution. This music has been described as very heavy rock with loud experimental sounds, heavy guitar riffs, and extended guitar improv improvisations. Um, Jerry Garcia actually said that it is basically sensory overload because it's just a lot of stuff going on. I really like this type of music because um, I really like rock, but this is just a specific subgenre of rock. And they also, a few bands have also used Indian instruments instruments, which I'll get to later on. And as I said before, they do a lot of drug references. So the rock and roll revolution was fueled by acid rock because it was to challenge the middle class values, especially issues dealing with sex. There's a band called The Fugs and they released a few songs that had to do with sex and love. And basically a lot of groups sent the message of be free, free in love, free in sex. And with that, they wanted to overturn the social order. And Stephen Stills of, the Buffalo Spring of Buffalo Springfield said the dead were the first people, I don't know whether it was acid or what, to come to the realization that they really didn't give a shit whether they made it or not. So basically they were just making music and trying to free and liberate a bunch of people with their sexuality or how they represent themselves and while also uh, doing drugs as well. Along with that, um, James Morrison, he is a singer in the 60s and 70s. He referred to himself as an erotic politician and he actually faced legal charges because uh, he exposed himself on stage in Florida. So acid rock didn't necessarily create a fashion in itself. It was pretty much just a mixture of the fashion that was already going on in the 60s and 70s, that being like leather and tassels, long hair and mullets, wide leg pants, uh, bell bottom pants. It's kind of like hippie 70s fashion while also in the rock and roll fashion. So going back to what acid rock sounds like and the different style and genre of it, as Jerry Garcia said, it's sensory overload. So loud and heavy sounds, a lot of distorted guitars, but specific instruments that they used that seemed a little different than other types of music was Indian instruments, such as a sitar and a tambura. Those are seen on the right. Um, they look kind of like guitars, but they're not. They have a different sound. Um, and this was very popular in the use. This use of instrument was very popular within acid rock. That is the end of my lecture. I would like to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.